Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 53 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to delete files in Python. Using Python programming, how to delete the files. This is what the uh, concept what we are going to discuss in this today's video. If before watching this video, I will strongly encourage you to watch my all previous videos so that you will make sense of it. From past 2-3 videos, I am discussing about what is file system, how to handle files in the uh, using Python, how to create files, how to add data to files, how to append data into files. All these concepts I have discussed in my past 2-3 videos. If you watch this video after watching that videos, then it will be more useful to you. You will get most of the from most content from it actually. Okay. So let's discuss about how to delete files in Python. To delete file in Python, you must uh, import this OS module. So there is a module called OS which you need to import. If you see this syntax here, I am importing this OS module. Why? Because this OS module has a function called remove that will help you to delete the file. So for this function, you need to pass the location of the file. So if, if you are executing, if your file is within the terminal where you are uh, executing your Python file, then, that, then you can only give the file name or else you need to give the full path of that file. Okay. If it is not making sense at this moment, let me go to Visual Studio Code and let me practically show you that. So this is my Visual Studio code. So if you remember, uh, in, on my desktop, I have a folder called Python lab. On that folder, I have some Python files and also I have some text files. Okay. So this is the folder I will open as a project in my Python, in my Visual Studio code actually. So if you see here, if I click this explorer button, if you see this is like Python lab folder only and all the files here, you can see demo Python file, my module Python file and this sample file, text file, all these files are coming from this folder only okay why because this folder only i opened as a project here so now let's assume i want to delete this sample file to see i have a file called sample file to.txt so i want to delete this file so how to do that let me go to this demo.python file so here as i said let's try to import this os module os module will be uh, available inside your system automatically when you install python it will automatically come that is the reason i haven't installed anything i'm simply importing that module into my python code and here inside this OS module, there is a function called remove. So using this remove function, you can remove that file. For that function, you need to pass the path of the file. If you if you closely observe, my, my terminal execution is already in the Python lab folder. And these files are already in the same folder. So I no need to give the full path. If you if I want, I can give, but still I no need to give. Why? Because my terminal execution is already in that path. So I can simply say which file I want to delete. Maybe I want to delete sample file to txt. So let's try to give name to it like sample file to dot txt. So this is the file I want to delete. Let me save these changes. Now let me execute this code here. Closely observe the moment I execute this Python file, this file will get deleted here. So let me execute this py space demo dot py. So see my Python file executed successful. And if you see this sample file to dot txt file is not there. Why? Because it got removed automatically from the code. Uh, sometimes if you try to delete a file which is already not available in your location, then you will see this error. See if I if I execute this, now it says error. The system says there is no file with this name. So to avoid this error, what we can do, we can use a if condition here and inside this OS module only, we have something called path attribute and then exist function. So this, this will help you to check whether that particular file or that particular path is available there or not. So what I will do here, I am trying to check whether this sample file to txt is there or not in my location. If exist, then it will return true. If not exist, then it will return false. So what I will do, if the file is exist, then I want to remove that file. Else, what I want to do, else I want to print a, a message saying maybe uh, like file not exists. Okay, file not exists. So let me save these changes. Now if I execute this code, I this statement or this condition will become actually false. It will come to else and it will print file not exist. Why? Because sample file 2 is actually not there. It's already re removed. So now let me execute this code. See, it printed file not So in this way, I am able to handle this error. So you can use this path attribute and exist function in the OS module to make sure whether any file or path is there or not. Let's go to presentation. So the same thing I have discussed here also. So the same thing like path exists and give the file name. If it is there, then remove or else print this message saying file is not there, something like that. Not only that, for example, if you want to delete a folder, then you can do that using this rmdir, that means remove directory function. But uh, the folder, whatever you try to delete, it should be empty folder. Okay. Again, what I will do, uh, maybe in the same file, in the same folder, Python lab folder, 
let's try to create a new folder right click and maybe new let me create a new folder and let me name it my new folder name as uh, uh, abcd maybe okay and inside this folder let's try to add some dummy file okay so let me open this abcd folder and inside this abcd folder let me right click and let me try to add a new file here so maybe new text file okay so new text file dot txt now if i go to visual studio code I will be seeing the same thing. See here, ABCD folder came. Why? Because I opened this Python lab folder only. And inside the ABCD folder, I can see the text file as well. So, as I said, if I want to delete this ABCD folder, as I said, uh, we can use this rm remove directory function. To this function, I need to pass the full path of that folder. Uh, but since this folder is in the same location, whatever, where my terminal is there, so I can simply say my folder name only. So maybe I want to delete this ABCD folder. Now if I try to execute, what will happen? This folder has some data, right? It has some content, right? That is the reason this ex this uh, function will not run. It will throw actually error. So let me execute this and show you practically. If you see, it is saying here, this directory is not empty. So we need to make sure whenever you try to delete any folder, that the directory should be empty. So what we can do, first let's try to remove that uh, using this remove function. We can remove that uh, under ABCD folder, uh, new text so let me will do one thing let me select this here okay so now if you see i added this path correctly like abcd folder then new text document dot text file so now if i execute this code it will delete the file first and then it will delete the directory as well so when you try to delete directory by that time file is already removed so folder will be empty so without any issue that folder will get deleted so let me execute this code here now see now code execution successful and if you see here, the ABCD folder is also got removed. So that's how we can remove the folders using that remove directory function. And we need to make sure to keep this uh, directory or to keep this folder empty actually. So that's it in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.